Hi, my name is Tommy Mello from Sim Specialists. In this short video, I'll discuss boundary condition combinations as they relate to constraining the simulation CFD solver. I'll present the topic in its simplest form by substituting complicated mathematical equations with generalizations that will convey the fundamental concepts. The discussion will be around a small office space, but the concepts are valid for many other applications. The simulation model is an idealized office space consisting of several components, an air volume, a supply, a return, a human, a computer, and a desk. The best place to begin with any simulation is defining the flow openings. In this case, the supply and return boundary conditions. Boundary conditions are typically known values. In this case, a supply flow rate. By defining a velocity or volumetric flow rate or mass flow rate, I'm providing the solver with the mass flow rate entering the analysis domain. This is because a mass flow rate is defined as the density times the velocity times the area. And the volumetric flow rate is defined as the velocity times the area. Density and area are given by the simulation model and material properties. Simulation CFD abides by the conservation of mass, so what goes in must come out. This leads most beginners to defining the return with the same condition as the supply. This, however, is incorrect. By doing this, the mass flow in and out of the analysis domain would be defined rather than solved for. This is known as an over-constrained setup. Another example of an over-constrained setup would be to define a pressure and any flow-related condition to the same boundary. This again pertains to constraining related terms when one should be solved for. The opposite condition of an over-constrained setup is an under-constrained one. Under-constrained models do not provide enough information to solve. A typical example is defining a flow condition in with no boundary for flow to exit. A properly constrained model provides the appropriate number of known and unknown quantities to solve for. This is typically accomplished by defining a single flow condition for the inlet, such as velocity or volumetric flow rate or mass flow rate, and a pressure on the return side. Another example of a properly constrained model would be to define a pressure on both the supply and return. In this case, the mass flow rate would be an unknown that is solved for. This setup also requires a momentum source to drive flow in and out of the system. That momentum is typically provided by a fan or properly set up buoyancy parameters. As a summary, boundary conditions are typically applied in combinations. They define the known and unknown quantities required to converge on a solution. I hope this video has been helpful.